Sometimes I feel like my life is broken down and rusted out. But the promises of the Bible are the bridge from despair to hope. You go from glory to glory, grace to grace, strength to strength. As your days are, so shall your strength be. He turns your sorrow into joy, your mourning into dancing, puts off your sackcloth and girds you with gladness, gives you the garments of praise in exchange for the spirit of heaviness, gives you beauty for ashes and the oil of joy for mourning. Weeping may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. If you sow in tears, then you'll reap in joy. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, for they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. We don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you, for the Lord can save by many or by few. Is his arm too short that it cannot save? Is his ear too dull that it cannot hear? Thou shalt be the head and not the tail. Thou shalt be above and not beneath. Be still and know that I am God, for I will be exalted among the nations. As you meditate day and night on the law of God, you'll be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, bringing forth fruit in your season, so that your leaf will not wither and whatever you do will prosper. Psalm 20, may the Lord grant you your heart's desires. Psalm 21, two, the Lord has granted me my heart's desires. Psalm 37, four, as you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 145, 19, he will fulfill the desires of those who fear him. He will also hear their cry and save them. Proverbs 10, 24, the desire of the righteous will be granted. Proverbs 10, 22, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. I will not be afraid of 10,000s of people who have set themselves against me all around for the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Even if my father and mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me for many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. The Lord is nigh unto the brokenhearted and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. He healeth the brokenhearted and bindeth up their wounds. The Lord your God is a sun and shield. He will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. Happy are those people whose God is the Lord, whose hope is in the God of Jacob, whose help comes from the Lord who made heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. For the path of the just is like the shining sun, shining ever brighter unto the perfect day. Even if I sit in darkness, then the Lord will be a light unto me. Commit your work to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. You will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. If you pass through the waters, I will be with you. When you go through the rivers, they will not overflow you. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. No weapon formed against you will prosper for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but spiritual mighty in God to the pulling down of strongholds. He taketh up the aisles as a very little thing. The eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the earth, looking for those whose hearts are loyal to him, that he might show himself strong on their behalf. The Lord, your God is a warrior. So endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. For the battle is not yours. The battle belongs to the Lord. The Lord your God in the midst of you. He is mighty. He will save. He will rest in his love. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rejoice over thee with singing. He will restore the years the locusts have eaten. Lo, I am with you always, even to the ending of the age. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called sons of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when men persecute you and revile you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. 
for so they persecuted the prophets who came before you. All things work together for the good to those who love God and are the called according to his purpose. Now these things that were written were written for our learning that through the patience and comfort of the scriptures, we might have hope. Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Brethren, whatever things are true, noble, lovely, just, pure, virtuous, and praiseworthy, meditate on these things and the God of peace will be with you. Let patience have its perfect work that you might be perfect and complete, lacking nothing. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined and heard my cry. He brought my feet out of the pit, out of the miry clay. This is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, we know that we have the petitions that we have asked of him. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us, that we should be called sons of God. Jesus said, my words are spirit and life. After Abraham patiently endured, he obtained the promise. Is anything too hard for the Lord? We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We might be hard pressed on every side, but we are not crushed. We might be perplexed, but we are not in despair. We might be persecuted, but we are not forsaken. We might be struck down, but we are not destroyed because God who begins a good work in you will be faithful to complete it until the day of Christ. No eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what the Lord has in store for those who love him. Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power that is at work within us, God has given us exceeding great and precious promises. God cannot lie and all the promises of God in him are yes and amen. We have now bridged the gap from despair to hope with the promises of God.